iPad 2 cellular antenna repair. Warning, this repair will void your warranty. You are performing this repair at your own risk. We claim no responsibility for any damages that might occur. On a level of scale, this is a very difficult repair and it will take about 50 minutes to complete. To perform this repair, you will need double zero Phillips screwdriver, spudger, metal pry tool, tweezers, heat gun. Optional, we recommend using Magmat for all your repair needs. To see Magmat in action, see our Magmat video. All these products and tools can be purchased at iPhoneRepairMiamiBeach.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Turn off your iPad. iPad 2 is an extremely hard device to open. When prying off the front glass, be extremely careful not to tear cellular antenna on the top, volume flex on the right, Wi-Fi antenna on the bottom, and digitizer cable on the left side of the iPad. Use heat gun at the low heat settings. Heat the glass for about 60 seconds. Insert metal pry tool between the front glass and the plastic bezel. Use spudger. Start prying off the glass on the right side of the iPad and work your way around. If the adhesive is difficult to separate, use heat gun and heat the glass again as necessary. Open the iPad and remove four Phillips screws securing LCD in place. Insert spudger on the right side of the LCD and lift up the LCD. Disconnect the LCD cable and remove the LCD. Lift the flaps. Pull the digitizer cable out. And remove the digitizer. Use sponger to release the adhesive. Lift the flap and disconnect the audio jack. Flip up the retainer and disconnect the control board cable. Remove the SIM tray. Remove the following three Phillips screws securing SIM card reader to the housing. Remove the following two Phillips screws. Pull the audio jack out of the housing and remove the black tape covering the connectors. Disconnect and remove the audio jack. Remove the following three Phillips screws and make sure not to lose a small bracket.
peel off the strip of black tape and disconnect the charging dock port. Use spudger and carefully disconnect loudspeaker. Remove the last three Phillips screws securing motherboard in place. Use spudger to gently pry the motherboard up from the adhesive, securing it to the housing. Lift the motherboard out from the housing and rotate it slightly toward the battery. Disconnect the signal antennas and Wi-Fi antenna. Remove the following Phillips screw and remove the short signal antenna. Peel the antenna cable away from the housing. Remove the following Phillips screw and remove the long signal antenna. To reassemble your device, follow the steps in reverse order. Note. For proper bonging when closing the iPad, make sure you clean your housing and apply new adhesive on the back side of the digitizer glass. In case your digitizer glass cracked and you will be using new digitizer, use heat gun to release adhesive holding home button and camera bracket. And transfer both to the new digitizer glass. When closing the iPad, make sure Digitizer Flex is completely pushed under the LCD. If not, Digitizer will not adhere properly to the housing. After closing the iPad, if your screen is dim, you have to perform a hard reset by pressing and holding down power and home buttons until Apple logo appears.